The tri-state, along with the rest of America, has come to a halt as we try to slow the spread of coronavirus. And it's leaving many of us wondering when things are going to go back to normal and reopen. This week, China ended its lockdown of Wuhan after more than 10 weeks. That's where coronavirus first emerged. Johns Hopkins health security expert Tom Inglesby is breaking down the four things that need to happen in order to get back to normal. He says any state that's considering relaxing social distancing should have a demonstrated downward trend in cases over the two weeks prior. Also, more data is needed so that governors and other state leaders can see how comparable they are with others in the region. The second thing is extensive diagnostic testing capability. Inglesby says we need to get to a point where anyone who is experiencing COVID-19 symptoms can get a test and have results in the same day. We need to have enough personal protective equipment in sufficient quantities that goes for each and every state. This way, doctors, nurses, and other hospital staffers are ready for the potential rise in patients. In addition, hospitals also need to have more capacity to care for the sick. The Johns Hopkins health security expert says the final element is the capacity for a state to do very rapid case finding. This includes isolation, contact tracing, and case management. This is what officials and healthcare workers have been doing very intensely in Asia over the last few months. Those are the kinds of conditions that could make it safer for states to begin relaxing social distancing. Lifting all these measures cannot be done all at once. They'll have to happen one at a time to see if certain steps are controlling the outbreak.